Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. I'm back in Minnesota in my brother-in-law and sister's garage, which is where I'm keeping my car. We're finally working on the EG again. Now the garage is pretty empty, so there's a lot of reverb and noise and echo. So I've got the lav mic on to hopefully improve the audio quality. Not only that, the lights are buzzing and they're really loud. So hopefully that doesn't come through the mic. And if it does, hopefully it's minimal. But today we're gonna be installing the Poor Boys bumper lifter kit. Now, full disclosure, this car has been in an accident. Well, actually two. One before I actually took ownership of the car. It was this front right corner of the car as well. I mean, the subframe was tweaked and everything. And then of course, I had an accident with the car too on track on the same corner. So the way the bumper lined up to the fender never really lined up really well at all. So if this kit doesn't fix that gap, I wouldn't be too surprised, but I also wouldn't blame the kit because this car is just absolutely messed up on this corner of the car. So these are the directions to install the kit and um, they're not the greatest. It does a good job of showing you what's in the kit. The details on installing the kit, it's all there, but it's gonna take you a little bit of time to interpret it and try to understand what's going on. It's not incomplete, it's just not very detailed, so it can make this install a little bit difficult if you don't really understand what's going on. But that's also why the company reached out to me and sent me out a kit so that I could put it together an install or a how-to of this kit. And a company looking to better the product, make it easier for customers to install, I respect that. So I said yes, of course, and as you guys know, this is a track car. I typically wouldn't be installing something like this on it because the fitment is trash already. I don't really need it to look good. But if you guys have a show car, a weekend car, something that's actually nice that deserves this attention and this respect, uh, this would be the perfect kit for it. Because as we know, these 90s Hondas, their bumper sag, the fitment's actually really bad. And this kit is designed to specifically fix that bumper gap. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We'll remove the front bumper. I will say that since this is my track car, it is missing a lot of the factory fasteners and brackets that hold on the front bumper. It's a lot more abbreviated. I've only got one screw on each side and then the five on top of the bumper here. The removal of a front bumper is typically pretty easy, even if you have all the factory brackets and fasteners that I don't. So I won't really be showing that because I mean, I have no other way of doing it, but you guys should be able to handle that yourselves. This is pretty much it for the front bumper kit. It's just uh, two brackets, looks like they're laser cut. It's got a bend in each one, just a small tab, some holes drilled in and the logo right on it. And then of course, you've just got the bag of fasteners. Pretty simple, not very many pieces to go along with it. All right, now that we have the bumper off, you can see that from the factory, there's one hole. And if you've got the correct bracket, which should be labeled, it says EGHL, meaning the left side, meaning the driver's side, it almost fits into the imprint right on top of the bumper there. But it's not designed to go there. It's actually designed to go below it. So you can see when you line up these two holes, it just almost fits perfectly in there. From the factory, there's only one screw that goes through this hole. But what the Poor Boys kit is designed to do is to add an additional fastener over here. So this fastener is gonna go through the bracket and straight up through the fender. So you'll have two bolts holding up the bumper to the fender. So when we take a look at the fender here, you'll see the plastic clip that goes to the front bumper. We're gonna be removing this. And this hole right here is gonna be the second hole that the kit uses to be able to bolt the bumper to the fender, so you'll have two. And the first official step is going to be fastening this bracket onto the front bumper. And we're gonna do that by drilling four holes. So we need to line this bracket up on the bumper, use the paint marker. In that bag of fasteners, you're gonna find a bunch of countersunk screws and a bunch of these really, really small nuts. So these are gonna be what you use to fasten and hold on this bracket to the front bumper. So once you have that lined up, you kind of just hold that there and then we'll go under this end and then mark the holes and then we'll drill the holes.
right, the brackets are now installed, fully tightened down. You can see the countersunk screws have sunken into the plastic of the bumper, which is intentional because you don't want a screw head or a bolt head sitting in between the gap of the fender and the bumper. So now we're gonna go ahead and mock this up onto the car and we're gonna stick the two bolts through that original hole and through the second hole on the bracket. The way the fasteners are gonna be oriented, you're gonna have the large washer with the bolts going from down up and then the small washer with the nut at the top. All right, and we're pretty much done. I went ahead and tightened the five screws in the center there, tightened down the two bolts on each side, and we're looking pretty good. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I know it's not gonna end up perfect, but it is better than it was before. Not too bad. I'll go ahead and get some like close-up shots of that too, but I mean, the bumper's on. We're pretty much done here. Pretty quick install. I would say if I didn't have to film, this would probably be about like a 30 minute install. It's pretty quick and you end up with some pretty good results. So. That's it for this. So that's pretty much gonna do it for the install of the Poor Boys front bumper lifter kit. They do have one for the rear as well. I have one with me on hand, but surprisingly, my rear bumper alignment is actually really, really good. So I'm not gonna to have to install one on the rear. So if you find out that this is something that you can benefit from, I went ahead and attached everything you need to know in the description box below. Hopefully this how-to helps you out when you do go to install the kit. But with that said, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna stay up to date with the channel, with the EG and with the new TSX, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Put your questions and comments down below. And if you guys share the video, that will definitely help out the channel. And until next time, stay safe, stay smooth. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.